What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Good morning and welcome to South Mountain Creamery Farm. We have a few things to do today, nothing too much. We've been doing some work on the Valtra here, Valtra T series. We've got some new arms attached to it. Oh, yeah. Still not sure what's going on uh, with this, but it just does this. Got a. Got no explanation for it. But, regardless. Yeah. Not sure what that is. <laughs> but hey, we're out. We're good. Ba boom. Ba da bing. Pa pa pa. Now, we have got to pick up. Oop, hang on. Hold up. Is this a shooty hoop? I believe we've got a shooty hoop. Buckets. We are East Coast Buckets. I'm not Buckets. <laughs> All right, we got something to pick up. This is something that I did not show you guys in the last episode. But we've got everything set up for us already up here, ready to go. This is the same in-game day as the last time you guys saw us. Here we go, flip it around, flip it around, there we go. We are in debt quite a bit, actually. We are severely in debt. Well, not too bad, 55 grand. Not awful. That, that's actually gonna go up. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna, <clears throat> gonna go up. Uh, <laughs> we gotta get sprayers. We gotta get sprayers for the fields because we have hit that first fertilization state but we've still got to put some spray down and uh, hopefully come next year we'll be able to put some poo down if we can get some uh, I know that we have a manure point and we have a slurry point now so hopefully we'll be able to find somebody who has access to those things I went the wrong way didn't I Y'all ain't supposed to let me go the wrong way now. We got to turn back around. Anyway. <clears throat> where were we? Uh, oh, yes. I remember where we were. Heading to the sawmill. That's where we were going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, a couple of you guys were asking me, DJ, what is going to be happening with Lone Oak? Well, we're still doing Lone Oak. You may see one of these episodes. You may see a Lone Oak episode. Uh, those are all kind of like, you know, I'm not, not really sure which one we're going to be getting today or the next day or anything like that. Okay, that's unfolded. Oop, wrong way. Pipe out. Here we go. Let's get this up here. We got to get ourselves out of debt. We are in the hole. A hotbed. There we go. That is, oh, ooh, like a, like a lag city over here. We want wood chips. That's right, wood chips, that's what we want. We lined up pretty good. I would say that is lined up pretty good. Let's take this, unhook. Nope, oh, turned off on us. I don't do that on me. There we go, back on. Now we need to find a tree. We can do like this, this is fine. Tree that I've got in mind is actually the very first one right here. Oh yeah. We want it to go a certain direction. We want it to go that way. We want it to fall that way. So we're gonna cut about right here. I think this is correct. Let's see how it gets along. Oh, that was almost perfect. There we go. And let's lean down. I always like to do the uh, woodwork and uh, logging stuff while crouched. I can't really explain it, but there's just something about it that, I don't know, I just feel like it works better 
with the tree itself. There we go. Did we get everything? It appears that we did get everything. Okay, awesome. So now we're just gonna go through, cut into uh, some unspecific links here, and then we're gonna go grab our tractor, bring it back over here, bam. Okay, there's that cut. This looks like a good cut as well. Uh, right there, there we go. So we're gonna get all these cut, and we're gonna toss them in the wood chipper. Uh, some of them will be thrown in one at a time. Some of them will be thrown in with a couple different pieces. I think the Valtra is gonna do a good job. It's a pretty big tractor. It's not the heaviest tractor in the world, but it is a bigger tractor. So that should give us all the weight that we need in the back. I think we can throw some, some rear weights on it if we have to. Uh, this is a pretty sizable piece right here. I'm gonna try and make it work anyway. Let's grab the tractor. Let's get all this done, taken care of. Oh yeah. Those of you that know me know that I am very good at screwing up this part of logging. Oh yeah, already doing it. All right, first piece we has. I want to pick up second piece. I don't know where the center is though. That's the, if I can push it a little bit. Yeah, I know exactly where it is now. Ha ha ha. That's the only bad part about this is you never know where it is. Okay, here, let's go up and and I'm back at being bad at this again. I thought we were past this point, but I guess not. There have been a couple times where I've said, you know what, we just need to get a Scorpion King. And other times it's like, you know what, I just don't have the money for Scorpion King. And other times it's like, but you suck at it. <laughs> All right, we've got this much. I wonder if we can even plop this stuff in there or if it's gonna cause major, major problems for us. Let's just slowly start to loosen and naturally, we've caused ourselves a bit of a problem already because this one doesn't seem to want to go in. You know, it's funny, I can do this by hand all day long, but when it comes to this part, okay. There we go, now we're starting to get somewhere. I don't think I can pick this part up with my hand. I think it's too heavy. Well, holy camoly. Look at that. I can pick this part up with my hand. Slowly. I, Mr. Slowly. Alright, that was weird. There we go. Alright. A little bit better, a little bit better. Okay, that disappeared. Good, good. Do we have chips in here? We do have chips in here. Did this turn off? That did not turn off. Okay, all this is good. Uh, we want to get a couple more logs here. I think these are just going to be too much. So we are going to hit some of these with, uh, with our hands. We're just going to get this with our hands done. Let's do it. Okay, this is the last part to the tree. Oh yeah. How much are we getting? Oh, yeah, 59%, a little bit more actually. So from that one tree, we got 59,516 liters. That means we only need one more tree to fill this up. <clears throat> now, 
going off of all of that, we need to know our prices. Well, right now our price is $334 per thousand. We can hold, was that, 49 or 59,000 liters in here? Let's take a look. It is 47,000 liters. So times 47, it's going to give us about $15,000. I know it doesn't seem like much, but if we can do this a couple times, we're going to make our money back. And I tell you what, I'm going to do something. You ain't going to be happy about it. I'm going to go ahead and warn you. You are not going to be happy about what I'm getting ready to do. But it's to make the most amount of money possible in a small amount of time. Let's do it. Okay. This is going to more than double the rate that we can get stuff done. However, it's going to cost us. It costs us 27 grand. That's right. We leased. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we leased. Actually, we can just turn that back on. A Scorpion King. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to literally do a tree in like 20 or 30 seconds. In the time that it's going to take me to move a couple pieces, we can do a whole tree. And I'm hoping that because of that, we can get a lot more work done. Now, I'm going to give a big shout out right now <clears throat> to, well, I'm going to give a big shout out to Black Sheep Mining because they gave us a flatbed. I almost sold this flatbed. <clears throat> if not, I'd been going a total of 14 miles an hour to get from point A to point B. This is going to get us from point A to point B a heck of a lot faster. As long as I don't flip it. Do we have beacons? I don't know if we have beacons, but I just turned them on. So, so if we have them, yeah, we got a beacon. Okay, let's get this back. Let's get it unloaded. Let's get a lot of work done. And we're here. We do have to do one thing. Help window. Just to make sure. I'll see. Let's turn it on. Cut length, one meter. Perfect. Now, help window off. Let's find... I don't think we're going to get lucky enough to get an, many more of those humongo trees. I'll tell you what, there are a few around here that are pretty big and in good places. First one, we're going to take this tree right here. Let's get low on it. Get that cut and back it up and drag it out of there. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You serious? This thing turned off. Did my Siri really just try and turn on? Goodness gracious. I tell you what. It's just everything today. There we go. It was just mad, that's all. Okay. Now watch how much faster we can do this. Uh-oh. What in the heck is going on with this? But look at that. Trailer's filling up, filling up much, much faster. Let's see, can we lift that up a little bit? There we go. Ooh, let's back that out. Oh, yeah. We might not even be able to get this entire tree into there. That's how much we've got left in here. Oh, yeah. These one meter sections work great if you're doing this kind of thing. If you've got anything bigger, sometimes you can run into some problems. Okay. I think that it is done. However, this will still hold 5,000 liters in it. So what we want to do is keep going. That's done. Let's turn it off. Grab our semi and go sell that.
Now I sit here and wonder myself, man, that sure does take a while. I wonder if I could just cut down a log and drag it into the wood cell point. Can we do that? Is that doable, DJ? Can you do that? Well, I don't know, but I'd be happy to find out. This is it right here. Unfortunately, okay, there's some around here. See, this may be easier. We won't make as much money off of the tree. However, it is larger. Or not larger, but it uh, takes less time. Can we cut this? Is this something we can has cut? It is. I'm just not lined up. Uh. Oh, Mr. Tree, I want to has you. Can I has you please? Um. There we go. <laughs> All right. So let's bring it down. Let's throw this help menu up again. And this time we want to go to eight meter links. The reason we want to go to eight meter links is because they're larger. And one thing here, so we might just be able to sell. Yep. However, $1,400 for that one log. That was it. $1,400. Can you imagine just making $1,400 per log? Now, if we got 15 trees, that's 15 grand. But over here with this wood chip and stuff, it still is cheaper. Well, cheaper, I say cheaper. Uh, it still makes sense in the long run to be doing it like we're doing it. Now, I am going to try and save a bit of time we are going to go to two meter lengths on the logs but it's still taking us a whole heck of a lot of time to do this I'm not opposed to it it just it's taking some time that's all i'm saying it's just taking some time so let's take some time i'm going to do some trees and get some cutting done what I will do is we will see you as soon as we're actually in the green. Might take us a minute, might take us a bit of time, but I want to be in the green. Being in debt stinks. I don't want to be in debt. I don't want to have to pay at midnight a service fee or whatever because I don't have the money. So in order to save us from that, we are going to keep cutting, cutting, and cutting again. And I've already blocked it up. Object too heavy, whatever. So I physically can't lift any of these. Can I cut them? Ooh, I can. All right. Well, this ought to be fun. So let's... Uh, Let's just keep doing weird stuff. How about it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now go in. Okay, well, one's selling, kind of. Uh, let's chop that up anyway. <laughs> there we go. That's gone. Now we should be able to pick these up. Yep. There goes one. And there goes two. Perfect. Let's take some time. We're going to make some money. I'll see you in a second. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Things make more sense when you say them four times. Or in our uh, 11, I think, uh, full loads. Yeah, I sold the, the wood thing. Uh -uh, Hammy ain't doing that crap again. Do I acknowledge the fact that Doing that is good. No. Did it buy us this sprayer? And after we sold the uh, wood chipper, we still got 45 grand? Yes. Did I quit a little early? Yes. <laughs> so, 
We've got some fields to spray today. Now we do have the time on times 15 and I'll show you why. Well, here's why. Because our main fields, 28, 27, 26, have not grown yet. They have not grown. However, our potato fields, both of them are in their first growth state. And that's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to be going and we are going to be spraying both of those fields. We're going to go ahead and get our second fertilization state laid down. All good to go. You're probably saying to yourself, DJ, I, uh, are you sure? I'm, uh, I'm 100% positive. Also, I really wish that this rain would count for something. But, alas, no. It was supposed to rain today. It's nothing... Nothing out of the ordinary. But it's just irritating that the barley nor the canola sprouted today. Which means we've still got three days left in those. And that kind of stinks. Because our planting period, our overlapping planting period... Where's that? For corn is only the first day of summer. Meaning, if we don't get what we need in that time, we have got to get corn in the ground. Because we have to get silage. So, we may either have to A, buy fields, or B, find out a way that we can go in and lease the fields. I don't know how we're going to be able to go about doing that. I has no idea. All I know is we only have a few things to do today. We've got two fields, two smaller fields. Hey, it's starting to clear up, very cool. We have two smaller fields that we have to do. I may even do the time at times like 60 because it is not gonna take us long at all to get what we need to do today. Yes, yes, those are the words. Onto our first field here. I don't foresee this taking very long. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This might be a one to two pass thing in general. Let's see. Let's start down here just for the fun of it. I will say that yes, I have gone for this tractor as our fertilization specialist tractor, vehicular, however you'd like to think about it. Now, we are only, only going to be able to go seven miles an hour. We have a 15 meter working width, so this isn't going to be a super fast job, but this isn't going to take very long. And by, oh gosh, and by saying it's not going to take very long, uh, I think we could probably sit here and chat for either the majority or the remainder of time that it's going to take to do this field. And we still wouldn't run out of things to talk about. That's how fast this is going to take. I mean, look, we're almost done. Oh, I just realized that we have grass field and we need mowers. Well, it looks like I'm figuring that out. On to the second field. Here's our second field. Oh, yeah. I see all those spots. If you guys caught our stream yesterday, you notice that Every once in a while, we'll just miss a spot. I have no idea why. But it just, boop, miss a spot. And we'll jump a little bit, boop, miss a spot. So we've got little places all over that just don't have anything in it. Kind of odd. Isn't it? it I don't know, it seems odd. So let's get this done. Uh, I'm going to do one headland and then I'm going to set a worker because we have our first fertilization state to put down on the grass field and it looks like this grass is already in its second growth state. Actually no, first growth state. Kidding. So maybe second. Gosh, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. What is grass? <laughs> so let's do this. Let's head over. We're going to grab our, I guess we're going to have to grab the Valtra because our Duitsvar cannot get narrows that I know of. 
can it? Gosh, I don't even know. Oh, well, regardless. So let's head over. Let's grab our Valtra. And let's, uh, let's get a little bit of fertilizing going over there. All right, here is our Valtra. First things first, we got to stick narrows on here. Because on that grass, e well, you know, we're probably not going to destroy the grass on this growth state. But I still like to have the appropriate footing, if you will, for each thing. And if you were going out to do this, you wouldn't be going out there with normal tires on here. So we want narrow tires. We are going to have to buy them, unfortunately. Customize. Wait, it's narrow tires. 1,500, not bad. And they don't look completely stupid. Still kind of weird. Oh, it's a new day. Come on, come on. Bam, gotcha. Buckets. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. I had that. You, you guys saw that. I was like, DJ, man, you had that. What happened? I got shafted. <laughs> All right, where is our solid fertilizer? I think it's over here somewhere. There it is. Ooh, wow, the brakes are good on this thing. Pull around here. Do, 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 do. Got it. And then fertilizer. I don't know how much fertilizer we're going to need. And... Okay. Oh, so we have to be under here, even though the trigger's right there. Okay, so... Let's say... $1,000 worth? How much that? was more like $1,700. $1,660, yeah. Um, now, here's the next question. We're heading to field 42. I don't know how to get in there. It's our grass field, 42, yep. It's gotta be this way. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but isn't it? I feel like it's over here. Let's see. That's our chicken coop. We may wanna go in and get some of our chicken eggs let's see that's definitely in its second growth state how do you get in over here is it over there and I just don't know it you would think it'd be over here by the road um that's uh that's it right there that was that was the whole field Huh. Okay. Oh, well, looks like we're turning around here. Thank goodness for the Valtra's super awesome turning radius. Um. Okay, back to the main farm. I got a couple more ideas. Let's see if we can figure this out. Interesting. So, you have to drive through the cow pasture in order to get over here. That seems odd to me. I'm not saying it's wrong. It just seems very, very odd. Okay. Well, regardless, it's fine. We're going to go around, hit a headland. I did put some more solid fertilizer in here just in case. I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, I didn't know how wacky crazy this would be. So... Regardless, we have more solid fertilizer in here. So we're going to get this field done. I feel like every like minute and a half, I'm like, so we're going to da 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 da. And then I will see you da 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 da. But that's kind of how it is. At least this first day, it's like, I need to do this and I need to do that. Okay, this is done. Awesome. Now I need to do this. And it's just kind of that over and over and over again. Um. Is this the direction I'm supposed to be going? Oh, no, it's definitely, definitely there. There we go. Um, interesting. Maybe we can get rid of these trees. 
I wish that we had dynamic ground so that I could just dig this ground up. But no. That would make too much sense. Why would we do that? No, DJ. No. They would never do that in real life. Eh, maybe. <laughs> anyway. We got some stuff to take care of. Let's get this field done. We are packing it up over here on, oh yeah, South Mountain Creamery Farm here. Just realized how many clips I've done and how, how everything else is insane. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and head in for the day. What I did do is I did bring this down here. I had a couple places I need to hit. I figured out how to get in. So, you got to go through this little run right here and then out down here at the bottom right at cow pasture boom just like that well bam and that's how you do it right there that is it so guys that is going to be it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed if you did please drop a like if you have not already please subscribe hope you guys have a great day and we will see you later peace